Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a neat new little quadcopter. This is the Flytech T11 do-it-yourself uh, building block drone, which means this comes in a bunch of pieces that you or your child will sit down one evening and put together yourself and then go fly it. Um, it actually was kind of fun to put together. Again, like I, I uh, evaluate another building block drone. They all are kind of fun to put together. You get a bunch of Lego blocks, Lego style blocks, and you get the diagram that shows you where the blocks go and, and you just put it together. You know, This one here was a little more difficult. I, I evaluated another uh, building block drone uh, recently. That one was quickly put together in about uh, 10 minutes. This one here took about a uh, half hour to 45 minutes to put together because it has a lot more building blocks to it. Um, other than that, is it is a basic quadcopter. I did initial flight indoors with it, and it flew rather well. So it does have uh, good motors on it, a good uh, size battery. I believe it's 450 milliamp per hour. I don't want to. <laughs> that's one of the issues about it. You can't really change that battery easily. Um, you'd have to remove these top blocks here and remove this strap. This strap holds everything together uh, for in a crash, so it doesn't fall apart. That's what this uh, Velcro strap is for. But uh, again, I believe it's 450. I'll, I'll put it right here what the size of the battery is. 3.7 volt low C. So it's a common battery. So if you ever wear out that battery, um, you can buy replacements. But again, it's not very easy to, to remove this particular battery from the compartment. Uh, let's go over the controller right now. Show you what you got. Um, it is a good feeling uh, controller similar to joy or gamepad style controller. Uh, this button here is for rates for selecting beginner, intermediate, expert speeds. Uh, this is for flip button. You press this button and then tell it which direction to flip. It does have headless mode which you activate by this button here and one key return which you activate by this button here. And this is something new. Um, you can calibrate the gyros by putting the quadcopter on a flat level surface and just press this button here. Or you can bring the spoke sticks down and inward. <laughs> but I press this button here, hold it down for two seconds, and that calibrates the gyros. I like that, having a button for calibrating the gyros if it gets wobbly. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Um, this is for turning off the lights on the quadcopter to save battery power. And this is your yaw trim. And this is your pitch trim. This is your roll trim. And if this was a photo bird, <laughs> they have a photo and video button, but there's, there's no camera on this, so these buttons are inoperative for this particular quadcopter. Okay, that's about it, folks. So let's plug in the battery on this quadcopter. I have a little breeze from my left today. It's a thermal breeze, so it's probably going to get a little stronger here shortly. But I got that plugged in. And turning on the transmitter and binding it. And we are good to go. And I'm going to Oh, I'm curious what the fourth rate does. We're going to go start off in second rate because of the wind. Actually, what I need to do first, <laughs> and when you crash, make sure you check your <laughs> that the blocks are all there because they do pop off. Um, the landing gear pop, or landing gear blocks. So, always double check before when you pick up your quadcopter. But the first thing I need to do, and I forgot to do it and show you folks, is what happens if, if you take off and you lose reception. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, five seconds. So, you know, minimal flyaway issue there. So, okay, going back to the air, we are in low rate. This is low rate. Second rate, remember we got four rates on this thing. Oh, that turns very quickly on second rate. Oh, I was impressed with that. Let's bring it in close. Well, what do you know? This thing flips very well. <laughs> Going back to the beginner rate. And intermediate rate's a little bit wonky Actually, you know the yaw rate on it is very fast on you but let's try this is third rate wow it's very very responsive <laughs> so you got to be these, this higher rate third rate is more for actually intermediate experts <laughs> And I'll show you why. See the see the R rate on it. 
and this is fourth rate. Go back to beginner. <laughs> okay, let's go upwind and show you the difference in yaw rates. We're gonna go upwind a little more. This is second, second yaw rate, third yaw rate, fourth yaw rate. Back to beginner, intermediate. So, pretty cool, cool quadcopter. Um, one thing though, you know, like I said, if you crash or make a hard landing, those blocks, the landing gear blocks seem to fall off. <laughs> so you always got to pick them up. <laughs> Maybe you want to glue them together, is what I'm saying, folks. People do that with Lego blocks, so probably apply a little bit of glue. <laughs> Might be a good idea with this, putting it together. Nice flyer. Nice little toy quad cutter. Wonderful little flyer. But yeah, you want to put it together <laughs> with glue probably. It's holding together through flight. So these building block drones are kind of, you know, this is the second one I've evaluated. They are fun. <laughs> and they are a project that you can do with the kids. Okay. And I think your kids would love putting it together because it was kind of fun to put together. Okay, the wind's picking up a little bit more here. Fight. This thing has no problem in window, <laughs> especially in the higher rates. In the second rate, it has no problem with the breeze. And probably in third rate, you can fly in real high winds in the third rate. I'm in third rate right now. It's fast. <laughs> it's fast in third rate. And I'm afraid to try fourth rate. Let's go upwind. Get out of the way. <laughs> in fourth rate. Just stay out of its way because it's a, it's a speed demon. Wow. Go back to second rate. Second rate's the most manageable. Yeah, I like that when they put a responsive quadcopter flight control board on it. You know, it's all angle rate, you know, angle mode, all self-stabilized, but it is zippy. Okay, I haven't tried headless mode. Let's see if it remembers which direction it was pointed at. Headless mode activated. Yeah, it does. Oh no, look at it, look at it. <laughs> Turn the headless mode off. <laughs> it got a little confused there from all that. Watch this, I'm going to do that again. We'll go up wind, activate headless mode, and then Headless mode activated. Okay, coming out of headless mode. Headless mode got a little confused. Let's see about one key return. Going up win. One key return. Thinks that's the one key return direction. So turning it off. So headless mode and one key return will get confused after a bit of flying with this. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't fly with headless mode and one key return, you know. I love I love to just fly maneuvering it. And it is a good maneuver very maneuverable quadcopter. I'm very surprised how well it flies. Especially it's built out of building blocks. <laughs> When's this battery going to die? Oh, there we go. It don't want to do no more flips, so that means the battery's getting low, which means the lights are probably blinking. Yeah, there we go. That's its flight time. Let's make sure we got all the landing gear blocks. 
Yeah, this one's coming loose. So again, you probably want to uh, glue these, <laughs> especially the landing gear. You want to glue them in there because they will pop off uh, from landing, hard landings and crashes. And here comes the wind. Got it done just in time. So, all in all, it's a great flyer. Um, fun project to put together. You just need to, uh, you know, I'm concerned about these landing gear. You're going to need to glue them on there probably so that they don't pop off. And the other thing I don't like is uh, it's hard to get at this battery. You have to remove the strap and then pull these uh, four blocks off the top to gain access to the battery if you want to put a new battery in its place. But other than that, it's great. Great flyer. So hope you enjoyed that. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out.